Hello everybody, welcome to another CSK editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a cool wall hack effect with HLAE. Here's a preview of what the effect will look like. Alright, so first up, what we need to do is head over to advancedeffects.org and download the latest version of HLE. And once you have that done, you can just extract it to a folder. I'm just going to do it on my desktop so it's easy to access. Once that is done, just open up HLE like so. Make sure you click yes. Go to file, launch, CSGO. And for CSGO ESC file, select your CSGO.exe. Mine is installed on my uh, game hard drive, so just go ahead and select it. The movie making config parent folder. You can enable this and put the directory of your movie making config. Uh, for graphic resolution, you can go ahead and enter a custom resolution. I'm going to do 1920 by 810. That will give me natural black bars. And once that is done, you go ahead and press launch and CSGO will launch. All right, once this goes launch, you should see this Valve Antichi message pop up. That means HLE is working. And once you have that, you can go ahead and press Shift F2 on your keyboard and the demo UI should pop up, press load and go ahead and select demo. So I'm just gonna to go to my uh, demo folder and choose one. All right, once you've loaded it into your demo, you can go ahead and use the command demo underscore go to tick and paste in your tick number to get to wherever your frag is. And then I'm going to go ahead and select my player like so. And I'm just going to hide the HUD with the uh, EO underscore draw only death notices one. Now hide the HUD like so. And now for this effect, we're going to be using the Merv strings. If you're not familiar with that, I have a tutorial on how to record it but I'm going to be covering it again in this video. What we need to do is bring up the console, type exec, afx, slash, update, work around. And once that is done, you should be able to see all the layers that you'll be recording. You can also type merv, underscore streams, print. And that will also show you which ones you're recording. I recommend recording all of these, just because it's nicer to have all the available layers to record. And um, this is just a tutorial. I don't actually need the death layers. I'm just going to remove them by typing merv underscore streams remove my depth. And I'm doing the same with the my depth world. That way I only have the my mat and my world, all the green screen and just the world layer. Now to get the wall hack layer, what you need to type is exec afx slash wh this is actually a config already in hle as you can see this text should pop up in your console as well and to record all you need to do is just copy the command here and just paste it into the console like so and you can go ahead and preview it by taking merv underscore streams preview afx wh like so and here is what the uh, layer is going to look like and what i like to do is actually edit it a bit by typing merv underscore streams edit fx wh and i like to remove, remove the um hud actually so draw hud set that to zero because the huds and kill feed will pop up in this um play if you don't do that all right so once that is done you can go ahead and actually end the preview just by typing merv underscore streams preview end like so you go back to the normal layer all right once you have all those done as you can see i have the green screen layer the world layer and the and the wall hack layer those are the three that we're going to be needing for this tutorial you can also record the depth layers as well i'm not going to be doing that just to save some time and once that is done you can go ahead and do press on the score press on score time scale set that to zero and set the frame rate by doing host underscore frame rate I recommend 300 FPS, that is the minimum I recommend. Anything low, it might be a bit difficult to edit with. But that your experience might vary. To record sound, the command is merv 
underscore SND time scale and set that to one. That will give you the uh, sound recording in a separate WAV file. Once you, that, once you have those done, you can go ahead and set the directory to where you want to record all these layers. So the command is merge streams record name and then change the directory. I'm just going to change it to my hard drive. I'm just going to quickly set it to my D hard drive. So there's directory, press enter, and now that's where, that's where it's going to go. And once that is done, you can actually start recording. So to start recording, Murph underscore streams record start. Just press enter, close the console and start playing. And it should be really laggy like so. Um, this is pretty normal because it's going to take 300 screenshots every single second. So just wait for it to finish. All right, once the frag is finished playing through, you can go ahead and stop the recording. To do that, what you need to do is type Murph streams record end. That will stop the recording. You can go ahead and quit out of CSGO now. All right, once that is done, you can go ahead and see where you go to the directory where you set to, to record. And as you see, these are the folders for all the separate layers. And if you open it, you get a bunch of TGA files. And uh, now what we need to do is actually combine these TGA files into a video file that you can use to edit with. So now head over to this site here and download the latest version of Virtual Dub 2. This is the version I recommend because the old version of Virtual Dub is, uh, isn't as good as this one actually. And after that, you need to download the Lagger with Lossus code. You can just do that through here. And once you have those done, you can just open up Virtual Dub like so. And then you can just begin combining the files. So open up the first folder and just drag in the first um, first TJ file into virtual dub like so. As you can see, this is the um, wall hack layer and you can scrub through it and you can play through. Over to the video tab, go to frame rate, set it to whatever frame rate you recorded at. So I recorded at 300. So I would enter 300 FPS like so. I have to do no audio and go to compression. And then you would select Lagger if lost was quick. And this is make this makes it so it's uncompressed and it'll be a lot easier to edit with. Then you just go ahead and file, save as, and then just uh, name it. I'm just gonna name it WH. And then you just let that render out. And uh, you're gonna be needing to do this for all of the um, layers. So I have two more layers to do. So I have to do this one as well and another one. All right, once you have all those done, you can see we have three layers that we need. Actually, you might have more than three. You might have the depth layers as well, but I didn't record them. So I only have these three. Once you have those, you can go ahead and open up After Effects. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and import them into After Effects, like so. And then you can go ahead and create a composition with them. I'm just going to place the world layer first. And then move it up a bit so you can see. And go ahead and start placing the rest of the layers, like so. Uh, the green screen will go on top. And for... The green screen we need to do is add key light get rid of the green screen like so you can see the um wall hack effect being applied under and uh, for the wall hack effect what we're going to do is actually add a tint so it's just to change the color and i'm just going to change it to like uh light bluish and a bit much so i might tone it down a bit um yeah i think that's good enough all right so what we need to do now is actually hide the wall hack effect. Now what you want to do is actually go to somewhere where you want the wall hack effect to show. So I want to do it when he hits the wall bang like so. So it'll be around here. Alright once you have where you want to have the wall hack effect go ahead and enable the wall hack layer. Go ahead and select the video. Uh, press T on your keyboard that will bring up the opacity. Press the stopwatch next to opacity and then uh, go back a few frames and then set the opacity to zero. So when he hits the shot, it'll be in full, like so, and then it will slowly disappear. So around here, let's create another one, and then I set to zero, like so. And I'm just going to slightly adjust it because I don't want the effect to last that long, like so. All right, that's pretty cool. And uh, once you have that done, that's pretty much it for the wall hack effects you can see it appears and then it uh, disappears 
but I think this is a bit much having the entire um, world become the warhack layer. So what I want to do is actually create only a small section of it to have this warhack effect show up. So go ahead and select the pencil, select the warhack layer, and then go ahead and create the mask and where you want the warhack effect to appear. So I only want this small section to have it. So I'm just gonna create mask like so. And I think that's good. Yeah, make new adjustments like so. All right, I think that's good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a bit of a feather on the mask, just so it looks a bit nicer, like so. And I think that's pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, you might wanna actually uh, keyframe the um, mask path as well. So there you go, that's pretty much it. There's the war hack effect, nice and simple and looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully you guys can all use it in your cool frag movies and edits now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.